Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today here with three distinct propagation projects. Some of them have been going for a couple of months now already, especially this one here that is already potted up. But also, for example, this little project here has been going for a couple of months. This has only been a couple of weeks. I want to give you simply a quick update on them today. Repot some of them into soil because, spoiler alert, we will have some roots already on these propagations. And also give you a little update on this one that we have propagated into soil not too long ago after having had it in water and growing roots there. And I would say let's start with the middle one here in the beginning and let's take this out of the pot and you will see right away that these are actually two separate plants in here. So you can see there is two separate plants. However, this one here you can see only a tiny little root starting to form now and this is definitely not yet enough to propagate. So that one goes straight back into the little glass of water and we take a closer look at this one. You can see how much roots this has developed. This little cutting was from a tiger bark ficus, which is actually one of my favorite um, bonsai species that I use. And so I always, when I take cuttings from that, I try to propagate them. And this has worked very, very nicely with this little cutting right here. You can see it is probably half a centimeter thick, actually, the, at the base where I took this cutting, this little branch. And it took over a month. So let's repot this right away before this fine new roots actually dry up. So we're getting a little clay pot. I do always like to repot into these little clay pots because they're quite easy to manage then. And especially for a size like this, they do fit quite well. So I have again my usual inorganic soil mixture that I tend to use for everything now. I will fill a small amount into here. Then we place this little plant. Let me make sure we keep it in an upright position. And we just fill it with the rest of the soil mixture here. Let's make sure we move it all around it. The soil mixture itself I have transferred previously from a closed bag actually into here so it is itself still a bit damp which of course is good as we will need to keep this more on the moist side for the first couple of weeks definitely as this plant of course is used to be in water right now so make sure the, the, the roots are not drying out that is very important. But you can see how healthy it actually has become. It has actually grown new leaves while we propagated it. So that's always a very good sign that this tree is very vigorously growing and is really in the mood for growth. And hopefully in a couple of years we have grown this to a, quite a nice size where we can actually work on it and train it to become a bonsai as well. But so much for this first little tiger bark ficus. Let's get this out of the way and continue with the next plant. Also getting this one here out of the way, as I said, not really yet at a point where we can work with it. And let's move on with this little Potilocaria aphra that I have propagated now for roughly three weeks. And in this three weeks, it has already grown quite a nice little root mass here. So again, let me also take this pot out of the way or the little propagation glass out of the way, giving you a closer look at these roots. They're not as pronounced yet as the ficus, but as Potilocaria aphra in general, as it is a succulent, doesn't have the, the craziest root system to, to work with anyway. And they propagate so easily, I will still already put this into soil because I'm 100% sure it will take. Normally you could put this right away after propagating it or letting it grow over for one day into soil and it will still take roots. I have done that actually with a lot of different other ones, so I have no doubt that this will nicely take. So again, let me fetch another clay pot and we repeat the same as before. So we filled it a bit higher this time because we don't have that much roots with soil. Then we place the tree, making sure we don't crush any of the roots that have developed already. And we feel Fill up this pot to a sensible height. And I think this would fit quite nicely for this tree. You can see it's a bit bare here. That's simply the way it has grown on 
the bigger plant where I took it from, so it was more of a side branch that has developed more into this side, of course, that is something we will try to correct while this continues to grow. But in general, I already prefer and like the size of this little cutting because I think as Portocaria afra can be quite fast growing, we will develop here a viable tree in quite little time, I would say. So, of course, again, we'll keep you updated on this one. And that already brings me to the last tree for today. And that is simply a little update on a tree I have propagated not too long ago from water where it has grown roots into this little clay pot. Uh, actually, the first water propagation of a uh, ficus microcarpa, so the, the ficus ginseng variety that has this very dense leaf growth that has actually taken for me. So quite happy about that. It is of a grafted variety, so you have these smaller leaf trees grafted onto the bigger trunk of those ficus ginseng. So it continues, of course, with the smaller leaves then. However, you won't get this very bulbous look on this variety because that would be the lower part that it was grafted onto. So this will stay thinner when it comes to the trunk, which could still look nice in the future and hopefully it will grow a bit bigger and fuller and then it will see how the trunk also develops. I think we can still achieve some degree of thickness on this to also work with it as a bonsai. Why I want to show you this today is, first of all, we already have a nice bifurcating going on here and just a lot of new growth since I repotted it into this inorganic soil mix. So it's again showing that this mix really works wonders for my trees and they do very well in there. Also these new propagation types of plants that I have tried in this inorganic soil. So definitely a recommendation from my side as well. Give it a try, go into follow inorganic soil. It really does pay off in my opinion because all the trees that I have in that are doing very well and are very healthy at the moment. So just talking a bit about the plants for this, of course, still middle of the growth season, we will keep growing this probably to a height like minimum up here before we really take first cuts and start to prune on this tree and look at the structure. So I'm not just letting this really grow wildly at least one more year until we have that growth and achieve the growth here. And then we will really see how we can develop and what the future holds for this tree. But the same, for example, also holds then true for this little propagation, which already has a bit more height. This is simply because you can see the difference in varieties here. Here, this simply grows a bit higher in general. The spaces between the leaf nodes is quite big in comparison to this other variety. So we will achieve more height here probably quicker. However, I'm not sure how the trunk will follow along with that or if we then again have to keep pruning it back so the trunk also has the chance to thicken. So probably a slightly difference between how we'll take care of those two propagations, even though they come from the same genus, but definitely different varieties can can mean that you have to also adapt your plans for working on them. But as I said, I will keep you updated on this too. And of course, just to bring it once again, also along on this little portal carrier Afra and on how we will work on them in the future. Hope you enjoyed this video today and hope you enjoy these new trees and how they are looking. I feel like they are really propagations that have a lot of potential. If you have any ideas on in which direction you would take any of these propagations, of course, feel free to leave them in the comments. Other than that, of course, if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe to this channel and hopefully we'll see you then in the next video. Until then, take care.